Hey, 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 yeah. Well, it's Thursday, and I'm here. It's Channy Schmanny. Comfort Level Podcast. Let me get this live going for the Instagram, folks. What's up out there in Instagram land? Yeah, we're streaming live on eight platforms all at once. So it's like four Facebook pages, YouTube. Uh, tonight we're on Twitch, uh, Twitter, some of y'all call it X, what it is now, and then, uh, we recap on all those great podcasts, anywhere you get your podcasts. So, that is my brand, and today we're here to talk about brand unity, brand unity, yeah. And before we get into the topic, I'm going to just let you guys know that I wanted to do this because of my brand. My brand has been sporadic all over the place, and I'm trying to get things together and contain that in the one. I started off as a reality music artist development, you know, and I haven't even really been doing too much of that anymore, you know, because... I really um, call myself a brand influencer or a brand ambassador. And, you know, I make a couple dollars off of a few independent companies and stuff online doing work and stuff like that, promoting things. So, you know, I, you know, I use that and all my combined platforms you know, give me my numbers as an influencer is one of the requirements that people, uh, you know, the companies have for you to be an influencer. You know what I mean? So certain amount of um, combined uh, numbers, you know, and I'm like 48K or something like that, which it qualifies me to, you know, promote people's brands. So, but like I said, uh, reality music. I've also, um, when I first um, pulled my identity, I was uh, Jersey Tiz, LB4R, you know, because I'm from Jersey. My last name started with a T, you know, and everybody's Tizzle, they start with a T, you know. So I was Jersey Tiz, okay? Be- I was Jersey Tiz before I became reality music CEO. All right, so people know me a lot from that and with the artist development and all the stuff that I have done for artists, which I still do, you know, but I kind of like put it in separation because I've been putting mostly everything into this Comfort Level podcast now and, you know, the little outlets that I have from the podcast a podcast has been all over the place and different things. We finally have our own studio. We've been having that um, for, you know, a little over six months now, six to eight months, uh, Studio 206, you know, here in High Nile, New Jersey. And, um, you know, I was at uh, WCMD before that. And in, uh, before that, I was at Indy Hall. And WCMD before that, WCMD Media, you know, so I'm no longer there. I do have my own studio for those that uh, didn't realize that, you know, I had somebody today tell me, you know, that they thought I was still there. No, we have our own now. Also, um, there's segments of the Comfort Level podcast, Bars and Bangers, which I put that separate from the awareness part of the podcast. This part of the podcast on Tuesdays and Thursdays is for community awareness and different topics and bringing on people that want to talk about their brands and stuff like that. So we're always looking for interesting guests. If you have a story, a product, or a brand, then you can contact me to set up an interview thecomfortlevel.com. It's easy. You can uh, go there and send me a message. Uh, That would be the easiest way or inbox me a message and then we can formally 
uh, sent you an invitation to be on the show. Also, you know, I did some graphic works under uh, graphics, um, gra gra effects, I'm sorry. And I haven't did that in a while, you know, only do my own graphics or some side work for some people and stuff like that. Yeah, I make album covers and uh, flyers and things like that, announcements, you know, public service announcements, all kinds of stuff, you know what? So, you know, I'm trying to tighten up my brand and find the unity in it. So this is why I wanted to bring this subject over to you guys. Now, I'm, I'm going to open up the phone line. So if anybody has anything that they want to talk about or ask a question about unity, brand unity, then um, we are available and uh, people can also uh, put comments in and, you know, we can address those comments as well. So you asked, what is brand unity? What is brand unity? Well, to fully grasp what brand unity is, you got to consider your brand identity. So that's what I was talking about when I was saying I'm all over the place with my brand identity. People don't know who I am. You know, sometimes I walk in the door and it's reality music. And some people are introducing me as the Comfort Level Podcast. I'm handing out business cards saying the Comfort Level Podcast because I'm trying to promote the podcast more so. Because I only have one artist. You know, and I don't need to uh, publicly um, promote an uh, artist development company if I'm not developing artists. You know what I mean? Even though, you know, we still have development for the one artist, I don't need to publicly uh, promote that at this time. You know, that what at this time, I, I just out of it i don't want to gain more artists on the roster to promote i don't at this point i'm sorry you know i still look out for you if you need me in fact i had an artist call me the other day and say i need a bio and i said well what you need to buy what the bio da, 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 da. they said they didn't give me no clue say what you want to say you know what i mean but being that i knew the artist i knew exactly what to say you know what I mean? So I threw him up. I made him a bio. I actually emailed it, emailed it to the person that it was supposed to go to and everything. And that was that. You know what I mean? So they still call on me for services. So um, the principle of uh, unity is you create a sense of community with your brand which is very easy you start by defining your brand's purpose and its values and you communicate them clearly and consistently and that will help you attract and retain customers who uh resonate with with your vision that is actually the uh, principle of unity. You're ensuring that your brand identity is cohesive across all its divisions. The is media, and is advertising, the website, so and so forth. You know what I mean? So you know, like as as you're doing your. A lot, a lot of companies have a whole, a lot of different outlets. So you want to uh, really point attention to, you know, the unity of the brand. Everything has to fit in, is what I'm saying. So it's brand unity is key to projecting a whole and undivided corporate vision to your customers. You know, your customers to have the vision, you know, you got to find your voice, you know, make sure that your message is refined 
all around your mission and you maintain that same visual style. You know, it's it's like establishing a dependable brand experience and then you get rewarded by your customers, especially, you know, you're gaining more customers or more fans um, depending on what your business is. So you want to make sure that everything, you know, is in unification. And what that simply means is, you know, moving more and more towards a one brand strategy. You know, some people will call it like a branded house, you know, or you want to bring more alignment, you know, to your brand portfolio. Anybody, any questions, any comments, uh, phone line is open. The uh, You guys... Let me see. Do you have our number? Our number is on the bottom of the screen. Our call line is 609-315-4442. You can call in and uh, with any of your thoughts or questions or put them in the comments and we can address them. Uh, call in, give us your name and uh, don't be scared. <laughs> be live on the air, okay? So um, why should uh, you unify your brand? Why should you unify? Uh, oh, I thought I heard somebody ask. <laughs> well, it's just a way of streamlining and simplifying, you know, the operations, your brand operations. That's all. You know, making every your organization more efficient. You know, everybody has the same vision. Everything is transparent, you know, and it really helps to reduce the operational expenditure and, you know, improve your internal processes for the overall brand performance. You know, then you can see your numbers growing. You know, you can hit a new level of speed, you know. And, you know, you got to improve your competitiveness, you know, and the agility of your brand, especially, you know, in a community where everybody, not everybody, but most people are doing the same thing. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not the only one with a podcast. You know what I mean? So the podcast, I need to step my game. Up, oh, you know, and just it's simple. It's just I, you know, games have to be is set up. It's a lot of software that um, helps step your game up, and you know, people are creators. Real these creators are really stepping the game up with the social media. So you want to kind of, well, you want to kind of compete with that, you know. It, and it, it, it's a big uh, value too today. It in a lot of brands, a lot of people are using the uh, music and music and movies and. Uh, Different stuff like uh, everyday uh, restaurants and brands that we use. You 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 look up and you see a familiar face, and you say, "Oh, you're yeah, in that commercial." You know, everything's commercialized. You know, so your brand is one of your organization's most important assets. It gives your organization identity. It makes your business more memorable. And it encourages your consumers to buy from you. And it supports your marketing and advertising. You know, and if you do have employees, they can also be proud. You know, because you have people working for you. You have to have stuff to make them proud. You can't just have you anything, you know. 
It's important. And then there's these uh, partnerships and stuff in brands now. When, when I agree to promote a certain brand or, okay, I did a movie promotion before. Okay, just the movie's coming out. And they just asked me to put up a flyer and say a couple things about it on my Instagram or something like that, or Twitter, whichever it was. So, you know, you 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 are um, contracting with that partner, you know, and you have to be uh, positive with these. Uh, different brands because they don't want somebody that's having all negativity and stuff on their pages and stuff like that. Or they look at you and see your follower and everything is negative, you know, and you don't actually stand for negativity. That's not, not what your brand is supposed to be, but you're not only thing that you're giving them is, is that negativity or I don't know. The only thing that you're giving them is stuff and stuff that's not really you. I don't know exactly a way to put it, but you know, by associating with a partner with a strong and positive brand reputation, your business can uh leverage to enhance their own brand and you know they they you got to look at how they uh want things done and they can also provide a wealth of new insight and experience that may significantly improve your marketing initiatives okay so by working with somebody else following their dream can get you to your dream okay now it's not necessarily you bringing their your dream to meet with their dream but you're on that on on their brand you become part of their brand so it's a it's a lot of hard work involved and it's it's a lot of complexity into working uh with somebody and having unity it it sometimes it's important though sometimes it is important to have a a, a brand mix you know because that helps uh create brand awareness so it's like this if people weren't aware of your brand and they won't be able to purchase your products or your services. Therefore, it's important to use like a promotional mix, you know, to create awareness for your brand. You know, so with me, my promotion is bringing on guests, you know, doing music on the days that I want to do music on and not discussing music on other days that I don't want to discuss it on. You know, and I pay the cost to be the box, you know, so that's how it goes, you know, and I know that, you know, it's a lot of, you know, I'm not promoting it right so that people can understand how it goes down, you know what I mean? People don't understand my schedule. You know, so to reiterate my schedule, Bars and Bangers is a live artist promotion, okay, where I am doing my due diligence in promoting the music artists by giving them a show to individually promote their music. And right now, um, I'm doing 10 weeks. It's called Top 10 doing 10 weeks of 
allowing artists to uh, send me the YouTube link. I mind you, there's no cost involved. Inbox me your inbox. This is not even an email, okay? It's an inbox me your YouTube link. If I take the first 10 people every Monday and I play the music and I let uh, people comment on it and I tally up the comments and the person with the most comments, they win an in-studio only. That's a way to get them to the studio, get them out of the house, you know what I mean? And so that they can have some content for their portfolio. In studio only interview, and also a track of their choice on RMC Independent Radio. Another brand that I need to be promoting. You understand? So, um, so we're trying to make people aware of how they need the YouTube followers to monetize. So that's what we're working on now, getting people's YouTube uh, subscriptions up, you know? And it doesn't cost you anything to just subscribe to someone's YouTube, you know? You just have to have get yourself a page, you know? Just say, this is my page. This is the music. These are the videos that I watch. And that's it, you know, the page to have you a personal page to have, have you watch videos. You know what I mean? You can also download your own videos if you make videos or have family videos or just want to dilly dally with videos. But what the artists need, they need uh, followers. So that's why we're doing the program for 10 weeks, okay? So we already had one winner for the first week. We're going into um, our fourth week. We did it three times already. Yeah, we're going into the fourth week. We didn't have a winner for the second week. Oh, is it the fourth week, the third week? I'm sorry, the third week. We didn't have a winner for the second week. Yeah, it'll be the third week. So, yeah, um... Monday, it'll be the third week. All right. So, and we're also still taking people to, um, while we're doing this, artists can still uh, sign up to have an in-studio interview. It is a cost of $40 for your in-studio in video, and that still comes with you selecting your track for lifetime rotation on RMC Independent Radio. So, guys, we give a lot, and we help a lot, and, you know, help us. We need you to help us push the brand. The call line is open, 609-315-4442. And we also um, leave us a comment. Leave us a comment. Jump in the chat. We can address that. We can address your questions. Okay? So... So if people are not aware of your brand, they won't be able to purchase your products or your services, okay? So you have to have an effective promotional mix so that you can reach your target audience and create brand awareness. Uh, you know, these unified brands, you know, like some familiar ones like Amazon, Microsoft, or Walmart, Starbucks. Those are names that we all use in this. Um, they they offer uh, unified brands because when you go in these stores, you see everybody else's uh, products. Amazon sells all kinds of products. You know what I mean? It's just different uh, brands and, you know, they're in different stores and things like that. So that's partner. And you're aware of these brands because you shop at these stores, whether you you ever been in the Apple store at all, you can still go into Walmart and get you some Apple earphones and products, you know? Oh, man. 
you know what I mean? And it's hard. It's hard. It's really hard. You know what I mean? It takes a lot of work to create a unified brand. But, I mean, a lot of us has already done it by being distinct, you know, in our mottos, our color palettes, our logos, you know, that defines us from others. And our consistency is distinctive uh, branding to all the communications, you know, once you once you have created it and you put it out there in the world, that's your you know, your all all your inventives come out. So, you know, I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of videos and creating things and I'm like, oh wow, how they do that. You know what I mean? But you gotta be on. You know. You got to be on. You got to have developed a daring and a distinctive, creative brand. You look and you got to feel it. You definitely got to feel it. If you don't feel it, it's not working for you. You know what I mean? It's got to be dedication. Dedication is, you know, when you say you're coming on at 6 o'clock, be on at 6 o'clock. That's it. That's it. Unity is a core value. It's a core value. Take that back to the Bible, baby. Take that back to the Bible. How good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity. And Jesus prayer, John 17. That's right. It is our first core value because all other values depend on it. Okay, how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity. Psalm 131. You can, unity can be lost in a moment, though. It can be lost in a moment. So you want to have core values that you can really depend on. You know what I mean? So no matter what, goes down, you know, I got to keep the company going no matter what, no matter who needs to take a break, no matter uh, what what the situation is, you know, if I have to do the podcast at the home office, at the comfort zone, that's what I call it, another, that's what I have to do, you know what I mean, so. It's a hold up. Oh, I think we have a call. I a call line. So let's see what we have. A good evening. You're on a comfort level podcast. What's going on? This your motherfucking girl, Fire Nation. What up, sis? Fire <laughs> Nation Flames. How are you? How are you tonight? Oh man, it's good, it's good, hungry and hungry as always. You know I had to call in because <laughs> I wanted to make sure that I, you know, I, I tapped in with the audience. I know you guys have been missing me. I know I have not been there. I first and publicly want to make sure that I, I one, tell my sister, thank you for being patient with me, working with me, because I've been going through a crazy move, you guys. And Jamie has been holding everything down by herself, and I haven't been able to give you guys an explanation. But your girl is back in the office, so next week you're gonna see me and Jamie back in action, back in the pool. But Jamie, I just want to thank you because you're the realest one. When everything's been going on, you've been right by my side, so you already know I had to call in just in case the people in the back have something to say. <laughs> Don't get up. Fire Nation Flames is still Team Jamie Schmini, and you're going to see your girl on the live next week, but we're doing big things, and y'all better share this live, because it is what it is. <laughs> well, we've been talking about brand unity today. Thank you. Thank you so much for that uh, supporting voter confidence. Uh, we are talking about um, brands, and uh, well, me, myself, I've I've had a lot of brands. Uh, when I met you, uh, 
I don't even know under what brand I met you under. <laughs> we, we, we did so much. I, well, we started. We did a lot with WCMD. That was the podcast. And, so I met you yeah. under the Comfort Level podcast. Yeah, yeah. But She was the first one to give me my flowers. But, but everything you said is true. Your brand is very important. And how you put it out there and deliver it to the people is extremely, extremely important, you know, and what you're doing, you know, doing this top 10 list is amazing because girl, let me tell you, my YouTube followers even went up. So definitely, <laughs> I want you guys to know, yes, the numbers will change. You will see results. Uh, you know, it, it's good to have platforms like, you know, the Comfort Level Podcast, Bars and Bangers, that are playing independent artists because there's not a lot of places and platforms that are supporting us. So, you know, it's really important to make sure that the right people get a hold of your brand. So networking is a huge part of branding and making that, you know, a unified thing with your business. Yeah, because I was telling them that um, uh, when I first met you, Okay, you said I met you at as a podcast, but I was actually an artist development company. Yes, yeah, yes, the music you did have the artist, yeah. yeah, but I'm saying so, but I kind of like put so many things in motion that who the hell knows who I am? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what I mean? So, now. No, you you really put yourself out there. If there's ever been someone I've seen go out there and make sure that when you leave that place, everybody knows your name, it is definitely you. You taught me how to walk in a room and own it. Like it don't matter where I am. I, I walk in. Listen, y'all need to. You want to know who I am? Trust me, I guarantee it. But that came from really watching you network. Like you go in. And not only were you shaking hands, you had business cards on deck. You had the, the ready mic on deck. Like, you were always prepared. Like, when people say, get you know, stay ready so you don't have to get ready, you are the definition of that. And I think a lot of artists need to really learn that one thing, especially from you, is how to network, to put yourself out there, to get, make sure you're shaking hands, take those pictures, because those things elevate your brand. Like you said, a lot of people didn't know, but now they just they trying to knock down your door because they're like, hold on, Jenny is everywhere. We need to be where Jenny is. Wait a minute. That's a brand and that's building your brand beautifully. So I definitely salute you. And I've learned from you just watching you do some of the things you do. And most of the time, you know what? I've been in the background of scenes for so, so, so long. Like, I really do stay, like, I try to stay in my place when I'm, you know, networking. You know what I mean? My networking is kind of routine for me. I, I always make it, like, short and sweet. Like, because I understand that people are busy and it's like 50 other people trying to get at you. It gets crazy, but you make it you make it fun to meet you. I I watch you it just at Digital Fest too was crazy because I literally watched you walk up to people who were just like they nobody can talk to me today. But they see you and they were like, Oh my gosh, I love her. Like her hair, her personality. You made just your walk up was inviting. And a lot of people don't know how to do that. People come in and they don't realize your facial expressions, your body language, everything is a part of your brand. And when you came in, you knew how to do that. You knew how to represent and still shine a light on other people. And you shine the light on other people so much that it shine right back on you. And that's something like, again, that's a personality trait many do not have. Well, you just got to stick with a couple of things, you know. The C's, the C's and the P's of marketing and branding. You know yes. what I mean? To see clarity, consistency, and constancy. Yes. You yes. know, so you got to be able to pass those tests. You got to, you know, you got to be able to keep, you got to be able to, you know, see clear, like you ain't going to run up on nobody and you know you ain't got, you ain't got nothing to do with their business. What you running up on them for? Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Stuff like that, you know. 
but you still have to uh, let people know that, you know, if you want to talk, also I have a podcast now, so I can take everybody. That's what I did. That's what I did. Everybody and everything. So, yeah. you know, I want to be consistent with that. You know, Absolutely. so I'll say you got to, you want to talk about it. Anything you want to know, just let people know here. You can come on here. Just let people know. You know, exactly. what I, mean? I don't have to know anything really about too much about your business or stuff <laughs> like that. You know, I'm not like if I bring um, anything, an auto mechanic up on here, I don't know. I have to know how to build an engine. That, right. That's very true. So, you know what I mean? That's what he's on here for, to talk about uh, mechanics and and stuff like that. You know right. what I mean? So. And it gives people that outlet of information. Mm -hmm. And then it also shows your, your versatility in, you know, in the way that you brand yourself because you're able to say, well, if I don't have that answer, give me a day or two and I'll be able to find it for you or find someone who can give it to you. Oh, God, yeah. That is always a good thing. Yeah, that's that that that's good too. That that's really good because I do I do that a lot. You know what yes. I mean? People ask me a lot of stuff. You know what Absolutely. I mean? But then um it's another uh theory which is you know those seven p's of marketing which are product price promotion place people packaging and process yes. you know what i mean so people it, it, you know your service is actually it, it actually goes down you know adds up to your service what service that you give people you know and how you give people you know sometimes we have to get the shit out for free, you know yeah. what I mean? In in order to for people to see, sometimes, sometimes you, know, things you are gotta be in the right you. place. Right. You gotta be in the right place. You gotta look good. All right. that stuff, you know what I mean? And how you contact people, you know. You sometimes, sometimes you gotta just show up. Yeah. You know, it's not all the time that you made a connection with somebody you know sometimes uh you just show up for it yeah you i know? you know i always tell people that you know look at different places people and things and really decide you know sometimes it's just showing up and being in those pictures and being in the atmosphere that gets you to that next level where most people won't show up because oh i'm not performing so why am i gonna go there they oh, do it all the time and that hurts me so bad. That hurts me so bad because you know what? They never learn anything. They and they never, never meet the people learn. that's working the shows. Like the whole point in going to a show that you're not performing at, especially a really, you know, good one to network in, is so that you can get the opportunities for that owner to meet you of the of the club or the promoter for that night to meet you and they say, Wow, yeah, I've heard about you. You know, it's really great that you support it. Why don't you come into the next show? You know, you don't get opportunities sitting on the couch and, and you know and watching everybody else get the job done. You gotta get up and get out and get it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You gotta be able to get up and get it. You go, yes. I go places sometimes. Sometimes I don't, I don't even want to do it, but I have to do it. I'm like, I have to do it. I have to get up and do this. You know what I mean? Yeah, and we, we definitely had those days. <laughs> we called each other at 5 a.m. Like, today is one of those days. All right, you got it? We got this, girl. We got this. And we pushed through our days, and we definitely had them. I mean, but that's what makes the success that much more sweet when you know you worked hard for it. It wasn't handed to you. It was something that you really put the effort into. And when you put that effort into it, you cherish it differently and you value it differently versus if something's just given to you, just kind of kind of there with it. But when you work hard for it and you put your, you know, you put them ten toes down and you put your hands in that dirt to grind for it, it, it definitely represents you make it, it makes you represent differently. Oh, no, that's right. It does. It does. It does. And people don't understand that. You know, they think that 
uh, they supposed to be put on and stuff like that. What's well, how somebody gonna put you on that they ain't even put on itself? Right. Like <laughs> nobody puts you on. It's a learning experience. This whole entire thing of of being yourself. Like if you watch others, you know what to be or what not to be. Yes. And if you put yourself in a situation, my my mother always had a statement. She used to say, be careful and be wise of the company you keep because it is a reflection of your mental. And I never understood what it meant until uh, maybe about five or six years ago, honestly. And that's when I realized that you are being watched by the company that you keep and your mind is going to elevate or de-escalate depending on the way you are developing with other people. So if you're sitting with a, pe- a group of negative people and they're always down about something, they're never really reaching for something, you're going to find yourself in that same loophole with them. Versus if you sit with someone who is successful, has goals, has vision boards, has strategies, it's going to motivate you to say, let me make a strategy board. Let me check this out. Let me look at this. And it's going to keep you on your toes. So you have to make sure that the people around you are focused and not even evenly. You want them to have goals that are bigger as well. Because if your goals are the same as yours, how are y'all going to reach up? You know, you want someone who's constantly thinking of the next plan up. And that that's always hard to find because everyone is willing to, to throw an idea out, but who's willing to put the work behind it to get the job done. And those are the ones that you want to keep around you, the ones who aren't afraid to work for it. Right. And that that's why I was talking about unity in brands, because if there's no unity, everybody else has their different goals. We got uh now you you know uh Rashan Montez Lopez. Hey King R M, yes, okay. my King. All right. Like, see, see when they come up here with these real names it's, oh, and yeah, whatnot, government. that's government <laughs> up here. I see where the R M comes from now. Yes. <laughs> He's saying that um everything that we're saying um is uh a reflection of your own brand, your hard work, and that nothing will be handed to you. Absolutely. And he, he's definitely a good example of that as well. You know, he's um, he's an entrepreneur on so many levels. You know, shout out to King RM because he's, he is my artist um, as well. But he has so many different levels of entrepreneurship so he's never leaving himself in a box and he's constantly going to different you know different events and you know community things and and different stuff like that to really expand himself and get to know people so when he has shows and he says hey guys i'll be performing here everybody wants to go there because he's such a friendly spirit to be around but he's also someone that when you see him you will never forget king his personality is unforgettable and that's a big thing for a brand and then when he comes in as someone who does paparazzi sales you know he doesn't just sit here like oh you know it's you know i got some paparazzi for you he comes wearing the bling flexing the bling he he showcases it he promotes it he's won awards for it but he's put himself in a state of mind to say, hey, Jenny, I want to see what you can learn a couple of things. Hey, Fire, I want to see what you can learn some things. Hey, Rob Source, I got a couple of questions. And that's what's going to build his brand, but he's not afraid to work with people. And that is a key thing. A lot of people can't work with a team, so they always fall because they're so busy wanting to be the one, the one. I need to be the one. Sometimes the one is in actually the one. Sometimes well, the that one, one is just there. The one, <laughs> the one is supposed to be the brand that you're representing. That is okay. the one, you know. So, yeah. I mean, like Nike is not going to run around, uh, and you know they're not, uh, or Coca Cola, they're not going to run around doing, you know. And they're not hitting yeah, everybody yeah. up. They got Beyonce and all of these other superstars to do the work for them. But those people that's putting in that work, they know that that bigger picture is going to give them that bigger check. So they walk into that school with those Nikes on, but they know when they walk out, they got 50000 more. 
but they knew they had to sit with business minded people and learn their business. Too many people they want the they want the glitter and the gold, but they don't know how to get to it because they're too busy looking for a handout. And wow. I think the problem is that people sat and got artist development, like you said, artist development. Sit there and take a couple of classes, look at a couple of YouTube videos, really just sit down and learn something, read a book a little bit. There's so much that people could do, but they'd rather keep themselves in the box, and that's the problem that we have. It's too much like school. It's too much like uh, education. It, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it, it, it's too. It's too much like learning something, reading something. They rather scroll all day on social media and think that um, everything that they learn on social media or anything is true. You know what right. I mean? So it's, it, you know, it's real. It's really, it's it's a it's a comp it's a complicated thing. It's a complicated thing. You know, it is. it's really complicated. It's just the focus. Perhaps your focus has to be on what your goals are. You know, yes. And, and you got to give yourself reachable times to do this goal. I, a lot of people want to get a million dollars overnight. You have to give yourself, you know, set goals, you know, do monthly goals. Don't give yourself such big tasks that you give yourself too much space to give your, your mind a moment to doubt yourself. So if you got a goal of I want to get a million dollars, OK, so for the first 12 months, this is what I'm going to do with my marketing. For the next six months, this is what I'm going to do with my promotion. For the next eight months, this is how I'm going to do this. You have to break yourself down to goals that are reachable so that you constantly have something to reach for. And a lot of times people don't think of the little steps. They're just so ready for the big glitz and glare, and they forget. Like there's a process for that. There's time that comes into that. There's work that comes into that networking. So. I think people need to really give yourself, I, I would really encourage people to get a vision board. Put a vision board but up. Before you even go there to, to a vision board or whatever, you're. we need you to define what your brand is. You, you know what to, I right, mean? You have because, to know what you want to represent. Because, all right, because like with, with the music scene, if if I'm uh, if I'm invited to an open mic, that's it. That that's it right there. That is what it is to me. Open mic. That means anybody and anybody and a bunch of bullshit. That's but what that means. Depends. That's what that means to me. But see, I mean, I can argue with that technically only as an artist because. I've gone to some open mics that are worth it. Like I, now, shout out my girl Boo Boo, um, Drea Young. She's an amazing DJ, but she has open mics. Now her open mics, you are walking into a building. You, I've walked in and met film directors. I've walked in and met magazine editors um, and CEOs. You go into a certain place, and I've gone into that open mic, and I once I meet a couple of people, you know, walk around and talk to some people. You meet, have you, you know, seen like, her oh, flyers? Uh, yeah, I've done the fire. That was where I started a lot of my music uh, career. The fire, uh, toasted walnut, and when I go in there, and see, the aren't, they light, but aren't they pushing that brand? They're they're pushing the brand, but you're also going in there, and you have to make sure that you still represent you. So, like when I've done my shows at the fire, I go in there dressed in nothing but flames, and when this I walk in there, I shut it down so they remember me. But I'm also now called back to the fire and club taboo and places like that to perform. Okay. King King brought um a comment up and he says uh mission statement and vision <laughs> statement. Yes, yes. You got you gotta give yourself a mission. I always tell people write it down, put it in your wallet, keep yourself accountable, and never never lose sight of your goals and your vision. You know, but that's something I learned from you. Like sitting with you, that's something you always put in my head. Like fire, just remember the bigger picture that you're focusing on. I know things are rough right now, but remember what your goal is. And because of those words, you know, and that, those kinds of encouragement, it kept me going. It kept me on the focus of, okay, my office is down right now, but I got, all right, give me two weeks, I can get this up. But I had to keep my focus and my sight tunnel vision on the goal. So, you know, people just have to, like you said, stay consistent. But that's one of the reasons why I uh, produced 
bars and bangers uh artist show to separate yes. se separate the music from the community awareness and the different topics because it seems like that you know me i'm connected with a lot of music artists so yes mostly like that's all i know okay every that's all i, I it's not all i know but mostly oh. everybody that i deal with has some sort of connection to the music industry you know what i mean so i was right. kind of trying to keep that part you know in one and then bring some topics that can help us our living situations you know, throughout the community you and know? that's the best part about the comfort level podcast is that you are making people aware of what's going on just like when we had uh but not enough of us yeah we need we need we need some i'm not doing enough to, of it yeah we need we definitely need more we need more people to reach out and definitely you don't want to get more topics out there like you know envision for success was it was amazing you know, learning about them and just, you know, what they're doing for the community. There's so many different things. So I, I love that, you know, the Comfort Level Podcast always takes a moment to dive deep into what's going on outside. Because a lot of people will touch on the, the main topics that we actually really need to focus on as a people, you know. Yes. So their uh, mission statement, well, their vision statement is actually um, Dream With Your Eyes Open. So it's a, a youth transitional house for uh, young adults, 18 to 23, transitioning out of uh, foster care. And my car is down, but whatever. They had some open houses this week. They got one left next week. Hopefully, I'll make it to one. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely trying to go yeah. into one of them. Yeah. So they got that on the road. They already got um a residence. And, you know, they may have a couple residents or whatever, you know. And then I had connected with somebody that wanted to give them a call. I hope that they had um given given them a call. That would be nice, you know. But it's yeah. ten bedrooms. They're gonna uh fill that up. It's in Frankfurt in the Frankfurt oh. area, so, you know, those surrounding areas, you know, can take advantage of that, you know, if you know anybody that's fostering out and they want to, um, you know, get ahead. You know, Absolutely. Some of them don't that's have, definitely something that a lot of people to, to reach into, to tap into, even if, you know, you don't have any youth to put in there. Definitely see what you can do as far as donations, you know, just volunteering, you know, give back to your community is definitely a, something that's worth it. I'm definitely, you know, pushing for them heavy. Well, this is you what know? I want to say. Okay. This, okay. You go to www.envisionsuccess.org. Yes. Yes. Once you get on that website, okay. Yes. However, it was designed. You have to scroll all the way to the bottom to hit those, you know, triple dipple lines to go to the menu. Okay. It's not just that one page on yes, there. A lot. Go down yeah. to the bottom and then you hit the menu and then you can volunteer, get the vision statement and the mission statement and all that stuff. And, you know, you can sign up. Uh, to be a volunteer, you can sign up to be a member, you can sign up. It's a, it's a number of uh, ways that you can help, you can assist. And yes, they also definitely. have a, um, a GoFundMe. Yeah. You know? yeah. But the, uh, the, thing, the thing about that is um, I don't think they like giving out the address all willy nilly and stuff like that to respect the privacy of these um, young adults. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I guess it's, it has to be ran uh, a little like a shelter is ran. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. If you go on there and uh, you you do have an interest or a question, 
you have to go to the website and, and do that and then all your questions yes. can be answered you know absolutely uh, but, but i definitely i definitely uh promote them and uh i will be doing something uh with them later on in the year yeah uh, yeah still far as um they're gonna have a uh what they call a big event and it's gonna have music you know so it's a lot of planning and stuff going on with oh that. yeah it's gonna be so, awesome yeah it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be awesome now, I, you know, don't think you really be promoting yourself enough. Speaking of brands, because you guys don't realize how no, huge of a brand this Jenny Schmanny is. But That's now, I mean. know I read <laughs> that you were just approved as a media guest for this year's Media Matters soundstage during the South by Southwest. Yeah, Jenny, I get was. Into it, girl. I was. I was approved with uh, making it mad to... Um... <coughs> Making it mad, making it mad <laughs> to um come down and be on a panel with the, with some with other podcasters, and I could uh possibly win a prize if you guys vote for me. But yeah, um, I'm definitely gonna be putting that link all over my page, guys. So check her out. Make sure y'all vote for Chini. But I'm not sure if I'm going. Listen. Well, we gonna still get these votes in. Yeah, no, no. Whether you are there or not, I'm not sure. I'm not. Votes. I'm not sure if I'm going. Even though um, Rob is gonna be down there the whole time. Yes, the ACX and one team is definitely gonna be out there. Rob and Roy, yeah, and yes. um, Seven is gone. DJ Seven and them is gone. But he said um, that his visit is gonna be really quick. Oh man. The link to what? He's saying, "What's the link?" Oh, we gonna get all to link the link for the votes. I'm gonna post it up for y'all. Don't you worry, post oh, it up. Man, I don't even know. I didn't look at it. I just, oh, I see, that's what you got your friends for. Post up what they sent me. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, when? Okay, so it's like this. When I heard. Rob said that he was going to be down there. You know we want to go. We want to support Rob and stuff yes. like that. You know what I mean? And, okay, in order to get passes in there, it's it's humongous. It, you know, it's, it's, it's not humongous, but it's very expensive. And it's very expensive if you want to go down there with more than just yourself and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So you got to... Um, had somewhere to stay and whatnot, you know what I mean? So since I'm a, a member with Kelby and uh, Making It Magazine, yes. I, don't, I don't know. I just said, well, shit, let me just uh, do see if I can get a media pass and come on in there and do whatever. And then I got an email and said all that. Well, I'm very excited for you, and oh, congratulations. I, I wish I could go down there. there. I could maybe still make it happen. I'm just saying, you know, I have to slide the trip out. Yeah, you know, I have to just make a little random trip. I don't know. Who knows, guys? You might tune in and check us out over there. It's all by itself. You never know. Never know. I, I know. It, 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 it's, it's a lot, though. You know, like, so all these things that start happening in the car, you know, all this other kind of crap. You know what I mean? I'm going to make it. Last year, last year, I sent my artist. So, okay. you know, yeah, Spark goes. So, I couldn't go with him last year neither, you know, because it was like a last minute thing. And it was like, go ahead, go. Should I go? Should I go? Should I go? And then I just said, listen, we're going to send you and you do what you do, you know? Yeah. And well, he made, he made a few connections. Way. He made a few connections down there. But like I said, you got to be consistent. You know yeah. what I mean? And the lack of consistency lost any opportunity that he had. So thank well, you. Uh, thank you, uh, King, for your congratulations. 
Thank you for posting up that voting link. <laughs> it's a no, definitely no. voted for me. <laughs> yeah, somebody vote for me. I don't know. You know, but I guess I guess, you know, well, we I'm gonna come up with some uh something for us to do. We're gonna have our own South by Southwest here, you know. Rob, I know you have Distro Fest three about to come up already, oh. you know, but perhaps we could be on the panel there. Oh, this could work out. Perhaps. You never know. You know what I mean? We'd be the indie panel, you know. Boy, yeah, part. Talking about branding. You know? Podcast squad. <laughs> but like I said, I'm not going to keep everybody on here too long since I'm on here by myself and, and whatnot. And they don't really like to talk about topics. Unless, unless you got some visual stuff for them to see, and I'm not that cute. <laughs> oh, cut it out. So, so, you know, we just, to go back over, you know, definition of a, of a brand is, is to be a product, a service, or a concept that is publicly distinguished from other products or services or concepts, you know, yes. so that it can be easily communicated. Absolutely. Your brand is the images that the customer had of your business. So, you know, you want to make sure that you take your time to define it thoughtfully and early before yes. the market does it for you, you know yes. what I mean? And when I say before the market does it for you, the market is, can make you who they want you to be. You can either be nobody, <laughs> you know what I mean? The market is going to define you as just, just another podcast, you know, which probably what we are right now just another podcast so the ones who don't have a brain yeah but you know i i just gotta be a stickler and you know keep grinding <laughs> keep grinding into it keep grinding into it. you know what what we're doing you know we do. absolutely like you said consistency is key and just keeping that positive vibe and being the way we are. At the end of the day, as long as we not like everybody else, we always don't win. Yeah. As long as you can, you know, boost how effective you are, you know, you got to, you know, I need to learn how to speak more effectively. You know, I don't care how long I've been doing this podcast, you know, I still sound the same. <laughs> yeah, I do. So, you know, and it should be routine by now. You know what I mean? I don't have that uh, type of, you know, announcer voice. I don't have it. You know what I mean? So people know me for this raspy voice and no teeth. <laughs> I can't. And that's my brand now, y'all. So you have to deal with it. <laughs> she said she can't. That's well, yeah, I have to deal with it. You have to deal with it. You know what I mean? It's a process, guys. It's a process. You got to disseminate and create and, you know, show all different qualities and, the per and your personality as well, you know, helps a lot. Absolutely. Yeah. Personality plays a huge role. Yeah. Yeah. So if you had one word, one word, I'm going to ask you this question. Okay. For, uh, to say what a, what a brand is, what word would you use? For what a brand is? Yeah, just one word. Like, you want to, like, he can't give me two words. Okay. Um, <laughs> you, okay, two words. You two need. words. Unapologetically you. Unapologetically you. That means unique. 
That's right. If I, if I could use one word, I would use mark. Oh, yeah. The mark. The mark that you make in society. The mark Absolutely. that you make in your community. The mark that you make in your company. That Absolutely. is a word. I like that. That's you, know, you know, a mark is like, okay, well, it's a brand. A brand is made with, and um, he says, uh, King says, impact or legacy. Or yeah. shine. Uh, that was a, that All those words are good words if you could only use one. But Branding is done with a hot iron. Yes. Okay. And when that mark is made, it is permanent. Indeed. So you have to think of your brand as a mark. Yes. Almost like a tattoo. You get tattoos. I mean, you can have them taken off. You know what I mean? They'll cover it up, but... Yeah, ultimately, that's a forever thing. Your brand or your product or your service, you know, is publicly distinguished from other products. It is your mark. Yes. And that's Big it. Facts. You know, my podcast, my podcast is not like any other podcast. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. It's crazy. It's wild. It's fun. And it's informative. Absolutely. It's not supposed to be like everybody else, though. No, I don't think so. You know, it has different um, characteristics on my brand. You know, the exposure, the leadership, the, my passion, you know, and even my audience has a lot of knowledge. Yes. So, you yeah. know, it's a lot. I mean, so we we're we're getting there. We're getting there. But one thing I want to tell you guys before we leave up out of here, and I'm glad that um Fire Nation Flames was able to call in on the phone or whatever, but you know, I hope you guys just uh learn from you know what's up, Dars. Learn from the um, stuff that we've been talking about uh, doing our brands and that you adapt, you know, characteristics so that your business can be successful, you know, because there's a lot of volume of competition that uh, businesses have to face. Absolutely. That's right. And it's, it, it, it's, it, it has never been more important to stand out never been more important so you have to develop your unique identity your mark yes yeah and make sure that your brand building is deliberate it's deliberate you know yes. but you meant to build your brand that's it you know that it's people's perception of you, you know, if you're not doing nothing, they're going to say, oh, they're not doing nothing with that. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So, I mean, you want to, you know, you got to have different things to make the brand successful, you know? You want to so fill your audience with knowledge. You know, and you also, you know, well, later on down the line, you get into the demographics and things like that and everything, but you want to definitely do that. You definitely want to have a uniqueness about your brand, you know, so that you can stay distinctive. The passion we talked about, you know, you want to, you know, it's, you can't, it's impossible to, you know, Think about the long run if you don't have passion for, for what you're doing. You know, that passion is going to lead enthusiasm, you know, 
wants it, and uh, you know, and that makes your that makes your business infectious. You know, your passion. People want to see that you're passionate about it. You know, absolutely. And stay consistent. You know, come back to business. You know, people come back over and over and over when you're consistent. You want to keep business coming back. People keep coming back. Got to be competitive. You want to gain an edge on people. You know, it's a whole lot of things that people are doing now to enhance their thing, enhance their business, make things look good. You know, people are understanding a little more. You want to meet people's expectations so that the end results tend to be, you know, a continuous cutting edge in the industry. Yes. Yeah. And your exposure. Now, that's a big part of being recognized as distinctive, successful brand. You got to be able to reach people through multiple channels. Multiple yes. channels, you know, it's not always the paid for ones, but there's going to be paid for ones. So you guys shouldn't shy away from that when somebody asks you to subscribe for like 99 cents a month or something like that. Come on, you you can handle it. You know what I mean? That shows that you're real in the game as well. Uh-huh, and invest in yourself. Yeah, if you're not subscribing to anything, you know, even the platforms that you're on, you need to have not just a free platform, you need to subscribe. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and get the next one up. And leadership, just like any thriving community or any sports team or anything, there's a influential leader behind every successful brand. Somebody's got to take the reins. Yes. Somebody's got to take the reins on that. You know what I mean? So somebody, they, they, somebody's got to be the boss. Somebody's got to be the the the. the the company the fill, fill in the company, the workers, you know. So you have um team members, I call them. Yeah. I call them team true. members, you know. So we can, you know, build a guide for a strategic vision for the brand, you know, but somebody has to set up and steer the ship. Yeah. <laughs> Always, you know. So, and, and we don't, um, you know, we don't always get along yeah. in that. And that's a, a big thing, you know, that we got to work on. And maybe uh, we can talk about that on another segment. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. But I'm a motivator, <laughs> you know, so I use my strengths to motivate, you know. And that's absolutely. what I do. Yeah. So, I mean, that was like um, seven uh, characteristics that most brands uh, share. So you got to make sure that your brand measures up. Absolutely. No. And I think most of y'all doing good jobs at it because I like what I see. I like what I be seeing. I do be on people's stuff and I come on and say, hey, you need to come on my show. You need to come on my show. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's it. No. So we about to get out of here and I'm glad that uh, we have a few people come in and make a couple comments and you know, over here on Instagram. Thank you uh, to uh, DJX, the Dear John Experience. Yeah. yeah, we had people over here. We had um, Uniquely Coordinated. A few people over there. Doris, we had uh, King RM in the building. And yes, yes. So I'm sure you tuned in and supported tonight. That's right. And we also gonna um let people know that we will be back on Monday with uh bars and bangers. We already yes. have yeah, we already have uh 10 artists signed up, signed up real fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 10 artists, yeah, 
is going down. We still didn't have a winner for the second week, but no problem. So we going in this week. This we week we going, going in, y'all. We that going mean, in. That means no. The only thing that that means was no artist interview for that week because we had uh, Ty on, on uh, the comments for the artist. But I mean, it was that it was it was pretty good, you know, because the artist got equal amount of comments. Absolutely, mm-hmm. and we also, uh, you know, we get we give out a couple prizes. Uh, we gave out a T-shirt. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. it's gonna get even better. Y'all better be tuned in next week. It's gonna get live. Yeah, they better tune in next week. Next week, I got some other stuff coming up for y'all too, because we're gonna be pushing. We're gonna be pushing the radio show as well. We gotta push that radio show. You know, a lot, of, a lot of y'all not getting that music played on the on the radio, so you know that's a whole new thing. That's a whole different thing right there. I've oh, been yeah. doing it, but I had to do it a little different now. Well, you already know I'm about to change the game. Let's do this thing. Uh, yeah, but that's it for tonight, y'all. We're gonna let it go here. Peace and hair grease. <laughs> when they say peace and hair grease, no, but guys, remember promote your brand, promote, 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 and make sure people understand exactly what your brand is. You don't want them get get you messed up and think that you're something that you're not.